Hey, good morning, everybody. SkyTrack 13, meteorologist Sean Ash. I'm in for Kelly Green here this morning. Time of taping a little bit before 4 a.m. Some of you might be waking up to the sound of thunder. I'll let you know right off the bat. Those will be non-severe here this morning. Uh, we are going to have some spotty showers and some rumbles of thunder a little earlier than the past couple of days. They're going to be non-severe. Likely we'll move out. Uh, and then we quiet down. We're still expecting several hours of dry time. It remains the air you can wear. Very, very humid conditions any way you slice it. This is the type of humidity level that you might expect across uh, central and southern Florida. We have dew points that are at or above 70. So this is uh, a true tropical air mass that will feed some locally heavy storms. Really anything that shows up on radar today is going to probably put down some pretty uh, decent rain. Doesn't mean every backyard gets wet. But uh, certainly as we work into later in the afternoon and evening with the daytime heating, that's when we're going to up the ante again for possibly seeing some strong to severe thunderstorms. This is how the radar has looked over the last uh, six hours. A little disturbance kind of riding through the flow from the southwest, and that's enough to cause a few of these uh, showers and rumbles of thunder. We remain under the risk for severe weather. It's primarily for the the northern half of the state. It doesn't mean you could not have a stronger severe storm south of this area but the upper level wind is going to be more substantial to the north. Damaging wind, main potential, cannot rule, up a, rule out a quick uh, spin up, however, and there is at least a 2% probability in that yellow shaded area I was just showing you, maybe a quick tornado. So uh, stay weather aware today and tomorrow and really the next several days as we remain under the gun for some scattered showers and thunderstorms. Uh, daytime highs in the mid 80s, it, enough sunshine quickly could get up to 80, uh, 90 degrees. So uh, these are some of the hometown highs. And don't let the numbers fool you. Uh, it is still going to feel like 90 any way you slice it, and 90 plus with the humidity. Uh, the idea, however, is late day into the evening, like the past couple, we are going to have these heavy thunderstorms around more uh, prevalent probably from say 70 up to the Michigan border um, and a little more hit and miss in nature farther south alright I'm gonna play through time we're gonna go into tomorrow this is almost a rinse and repeat forecast but the axis of greatest coverage gets farther south with each passing day so that Monday we're probably gonna be dealing with more storms from say I 7470 uh, down to the Ohio River and the risk for strong to severe storms expands tomorrow and it encompasses the better part of our viewing area. So we are in for the long haul. This is going to be a very active pattern. There's a the hot dome is setting up across the southeast. Wrapping around that is a very moist flow from the Gulf and it's the, what we call the ring of fire around the hot dome and we are right in the crosshairs of this and as we play through today tomorrow tuesday and wednesday it does appear this is going to be a rather active storm track right through the ohio valley good news for the beneficial rain that we need we just don't want it to come with severe weather this is the latest european model uh, rainfall output so we could be staring down a good two to four inches of rain between now and say the end of the week with locally higher amounts on the table within some of these heavier thunderstorms. An updated SkyTrack 13 seven day forecast, not too many changes from what Nicole was telling you last night. Uh, mid 80s generally, gonna feel warmer than that. Strong storm potential Sunday and Monday, heavy rain potential widespread perhaps Tuesday and Wednesday. We will begin sunrise at 6 a.m. Hope you can join us. If not, have a great day. Stay weather aware. Don't forget to download our free weather app, SkyTrack 13 weather app, both for Android and iPhone.